It refers to drug use and other naughty things which hadn't yet been banned from being used in movies in 1932. The Hayes Code, I believe, came into full force in 1933. So here we have Al Dubin, Harry Warren. You're going to be a habit with me, subject to the vagaries of the weather.
Well, we have for you now, ladies and gentlemen, a number which was written back in the ragtime era, but revived in the early 30s, and a successful recording made by Harry Roy and his band. And the number is called Canadian Capers. very much Harry Roy's version of um, Canadian Capers. Well, uh, we have a song for you now written for that bug-eyed comedian, Eddie Cantor. Does anybody know who Eddie Cantor was? I thought you lot might. Jolly good. Yeah, he was a big star of the early talking picture movie, uh, musicals, movie musicals, and um, rather forgotten, sadly, now, but some of them are great. He had some lovely songs written for him, including My Baby Just Cares For Me, Making Whoopee, songs like that, great stuff. And in fact, this one, which if the wind permits, we're going to um, play for you now. Nights are long and lonely since we've been apart. You'd come back if you but knew how I miss you, sweetheart. You said I wasn't playing fair, and so you had to go. There's a question I would ask you, dear. Your answer I must know. 
If I give up the saxophone had many wonderful songs written for him, including this next one, which um, all the British dance bands rushed to record as a wonderful version by Ambrose and his orchestra, which we're going to attempt to recreate for you now, if the band parts haven't blown away to Bedford somewhere. Hotels closed their doors. 
Dedicated partygoers in the 1930s could make their way to the illegal bottle party clubs which abounded in the Soho area of London, including Mar Merrick's notorious 43 Club, which would periodically be raided by the police for selling drinks and even cocaine after hours. Actress Tallulah Bankhead for, uh, frequented the 43 and after s purchasing some cocaine was fond of removing all of her clothes in order, to, in order to prove that she was a natural blonde. Make of that what you like. It was Tallulah Bankhead who said to Betty Davis, I hope I look as good as you when I'm your age. Betty Davis replied, you did. But first, a little number which we uh, recorded on our CD, Shall We Dance, also available today at the CD tent. Um, and it was, we also played this on Len Goodman's Dance Band Days, which I hope some of you caught at Christmas, last Christmas. Well, it wouldn't be next Christmas, would it? Anyway, so here we go. This one is called Nobody's Sweetheart.
Chapman was joined by Martin Wheatley for the vocal. Uh, we have a little treat for you now from uh, the 19, from 1929, in fact. Uh, this one was recorded by Jack Hilton and his orchestra, who in 1929 were selling seven, uh, sorry, one record every seven minutes, I think it was. They sold three million something records in 1929, which is astonishing, really, when you think about it. Here's, we're going to play one of the hits from that year. It's called You're the Cream in My Coffee. <laughs> I'm not a poet, how well I know it, I've never been a raver, but when I look at you, I rave a bit, it's true, I'm wild about you, can't live without you, you give my life its savour, what sugar does for tea, that's what you do. For me, you're the cream in my coffee, you're the salt in my stew. You will always be my necessity, I'd be lost without you. You're the starch in my collar, you're the lace in my shoe. You will always be my necessity, I'd be lost without you. You give life savor, bring out its flavor. So this is clear, dear, you're my Worcestershire, dear, you're the sailor, my love boat, you're the captain and crew, you will always be my necessity, I'd be lost without you.
you, Noel Cowards, A Room with a View, from this year of grace, 1927. Well, we have for you now another Johnny Mercer lyric. This one is Jeepers Creepers, written for Louis Armstrong in 1938, just 11 years later. And what a different sort of number it is, how popular music had changed. Um, so it's a lovely swingy song, Jeepers Creepers. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you've all managed to get a song sheet. I don't see very many of them around. Have you got a song sheet? They're over there. There are thousands of them. Please take them. <laughs> don't want to take them home. Um, anyway, they have some lyrics on. We're not going to sing right now, but I'm just giving you a, a, a little heads up. Um, we have for you now a song written for The Gay Divorce, which was a stage musical written for Fred Astaire and Claire Luce. And uh, it was a wonderful show, and Hollywood bought it for RKO Pictures, and they dropped all of the songs except for Night and Day. I mean, you wouldn't want to use all those court silly Cole Porter songs, would you? Anyway, so one of the songs they dropped was this one, which is a particular favourite of ours. It's called After You Who, Cole Porter, After You Who, and originally performed by Fred Astaire. Um, his original star, as I mentioned, was Claire Luce, um, who wasn't used for the movie. But Claire Luce in the 1920s had starred in a play on Broadway where she was required to ride a live ostrich on stage. But unfortunately, there was a loud bang during one of the performances and the ostrich took flight, out, well, fled out of the stage door and down Broadway with uh, Claire Luce still on the back of it. <laughs> so here we have, with that lovely image in your minds, a beautiful romantic song, After You Who.
to hear him all those years ago when he was a student. Um, and we have a recreation now for you of one of my favorite Louis Armstrong records, one of the first ones I ever heard. It's um, called After You've Gone. It's going to be sung and played for you by Ben Cummings.
Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand again, please, for Ben Cummings. Well, I'm hoping that we can persuade you all to sing something now, ladies and gentlemen. This song is called The Sun Has Got His Hat On, and it's from 1932, and it's to, it was written to cheer everybody up in the dark days of the Depression. So I want you all to put on your hearty 1932 jolly voices, and we're going to practice it first. The Sun Has Got His Hat On. You should find the lyrics on your, on your lyric sheet. Okay, are you ready? <clears throat> the, are you ready? One, two, a one, two, three. The sun has got his hat on. sing, I sing, Louise sings, and it's very, very exciting. And then there's one, there's one little bit where you all sing, and you, so we will tell you when that is, won't we, Louise? Yes. She says yes. So please, Louise, over here for the, um, it's by the way, the glamorous Louise Cookman um, has once had a large gay following, but she dodged into an alleyway and gave him the slip. Just thought I'd tell you that. Thank you very much. Okay, are we ready? <laughs>
chance to sing in a little while. Uh, right, well ladies and gentlemen, it is actually coming quite near to the end of our set, I'm afraid. Uh, even though the sun has now got his hat on, um, we're going to have to finish. But at least the sun will be out for the wonderful bands which I'm sure are going to follow us. Um, we have for you now a number which we played in Len Goodman's Dance Band Days, a marvellous uh, programme broadcast on the electric television just two years ago. So here we go, and there goes my music again. Uh, this one is called Happy feet!
and gentlemen, the Piccadilly Dance Orchestra. Well, I know it's too early, but we're going to sing a song, or you're going to sing a song now, called Good Night, Sweetheart. Sums up the 1930s for us all, doesn't it? Ray Noble's beautiful song, Are You Ready to Sing? A short introduction from the band, and then we'd love to hear you all sing it. Visit Alan over at the CD desk. That's um, Alan Bennett Law with the CD desk over there. And we have some lovely CDs, including Brighter Than the Sun, our latest effort. But we're going to close for you now with, and I hope the dancers are all ready for this. Are you ready, dancers? Yay! Thank you, John. Okay, so this is the original Charleston. Now, you don't have to dance on the dance floor for this one. You're allowed to dance on the grass. I asked Dave Wooding at the Twinwood Festival. If, we, if that was okay, and he said that was absolutely all right. And I wanted to give a big thank you to Dave Wooding at the Twinwood Festival for organizing this incredible event and for asking us along today. Thank you, Dave. Anyway, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four.
on the Piccadilly Dance Orchestra.